Hey gangsters, it's Pen Gangster here. And if you're looking for the channel of the middle-aged woman looking at fountain pens, well, guess what? You came to the right place because that's what I'm here to do. Today we're gonna to take a look at the new Twisby in this box right here. The new Twisby 580 with the rose gold trim. It's something that I've been looking forward to for a couple months. I think it'll go nicely with my black and rose gold collection. It does come in this very austere cardboard box with the logo on the front. When you open up this plain box, suddenly it's not so plain anymore. It's got a nice little foam thingy to keep your stuff intact. I've got some literature so you can fill your pen. And we will go through that because the Twisbees, if you've never used a Twisbee before, it can be a little confusing. And then there's some sort of yes and no warning and tie. Yes, do this. No, don't do that. So that's what I know. And then finally, we've gotten to the pen, which is, again, it's surrounded in this foamy stuff. And then, ta-da! It's the pen. It's beautiful. I haven't been this excited about a Twisby since the white and rose gold Eco came out a couple months ago. I just, I have, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person out there in the world who has a thing for the rose gold uh, trim and look. Take her out. It's a her for me, okay? There you go. On the back of the, uh, oh, so yeah, it's like held in place by these little, lots of little plastic parts go with this. So on the back, um, in a language that I cannot read, it shows the picture of the pen. It's probably Thai. Let's take a look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's so cool. I got a medium nib, by the way. Let's undo this cap here. And it's a rose gold nib. I like that. Twisby is a piston filler. Uh, so this thing is gonna hold a lot of ink, which is great. If you can see this on the camera or not, I don't know. But the uh, smoky service, for, uh, I think it's smoke and rose gold, smoke gray, rose gold or transparent black, I don't know. But it is transparent. I think that's really cool. I, I do have a, a couple of the, I thought I got like the, of the turquoise, I've got the pink of this, but this by far, this is the nicest looking one. I'm not really sure if this is a special edition or if this will be part of their regular lineup. Probably wanna check the Twisby website just to make sure. Did I mention that this thing, it's a piston filler? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that piston filling action. You're gonna love it once the ink is in there. It's gonna swish around and be so awesome. The lipstick that the pen gangster's wearing, it's the Superberry shade Military Red. Yeah, so if you wanna get the look, and then this, that's all probably from Old Navy. That's a Tiffin Glasses JCV earring, so if you want the look. They don't care, honey. They, they just want to see the pen. Oh, her now she does see she did them herself. That's because I'm efficient. Also, you look at the end of the cap, it has the Twisby logo, of course, in the usual red. And here's the clip. Clip is also rose gold. It's actually, let's see how springy this thing is. No. No, not very springy, but that's okay. I don't clip this to a pocket or anything. I just put it in a case and I carry it around. And occasionally when I'm in the mood, I open up my case. I look at my pens and it brings tears to my eyes. It's... <laughs> Please go do something else with your time. <laughs> Quarantine problems, right? <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna do is a writing sample with this pen. I'm gonna ink it up, 
do some writing with it. And I'm gonna show you how to work with the Twisby. So let's go ahead and we're gonna ink this gorgeous Twisby pen up. First thing you do before you ink a Twisby is you've gotta coat it with a little bit of silicone grease in order to keep the ink from leaking out of these areas. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Let's get this out. Silicone grease, the little metal tool that I can't, there it is, metal tool, just to the side. It also has something on here to protect the Twisby logo, which I'm gonna take off. Oh, here's, how satisfying is this? People find this pretty really satisfying, I do this, but it's like, oh, but everything but the Twisby. I'm gonna leave it like that because that actually looks kind of cool. To grease the piston filler system, you've got to pretty much turn this until the plunger is all the way down towards the nib. And then you take this metal piece, right? This metal tool. And what you're gonna do is you actually stick it right here and it's gonna catch right in this area right here. So as you can see, it has caught onto the pen itself. And then you're gonna turn this, and then you just slowly turn it. And as you can see, it's beginning to unthread. And then once you get it to this point, whoops. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm doing something really important here. Jeez, like no respect for pens. All right, so pull everything out from the pen itself. And then you're gonna take the silicone grease, which they have, it is in this, like a plastic wrap around there. So, so I've got the silicone grease all ready to go. So take that cap off. And I find that these little balls are a little hard to squeeze, but it's really good because it helps to control the amount of stuff you get here. So what I'm first and foremost gonna do is I'm going to squeeze a little bit onto this plunger. So I have like a dot on there and I'm just going to simply rotate this around my finger so it has some silicone grease on it. I'm also going to put just a tiny bit here along this area here so it just makes it you know a nice whoops, flowing seamless easy way of doing that. And that's pretty much where I put my silicone grease. The next thing Grab the pen, put it back in, push it down, and then we're gonna get our little tool. Whoa! See, sometimes if you get it going with your hand, it'll stay in place. So here you go. Get the little silver tool, and we're gonna screw it back together. Okay, so let's put this back. And you don't want to do it too tight because it'll just make it impossible to get there. It's just like we're impossible to get it loose for the next time you have to do this. All right, so pretty much this is ready to go. So I'm going to ink this with the Monte Verde Black Ash ink. It's not really a black, it's kind of a lighter black shade. I thought that would go nice with this transparent black parts of this pen. Here's another little trick about the Twisby uh, piston filler pens. Sometimes people have a problem when, after they ink up this pen, that a big blob of ink will come out back here. So there's something that people do is they burp it. So you pretty much take the piston and you turn it just a little bit and a little bit of air will come out right here and then it's all good and then you can put it back to where it was and that way you won't get that blob of ink that falls out of the nib. Now, if you look at the Twisby, it's not really a pen that is meant to be posted. I mean, you can post this, but it makes it really long. I tend to use my Twisby 580s, not posted. So it actually holds a lot of ink and this will last a while. So this is a great pen. Like if you are a student 
or you just happen to do a lot of writing with your work, or you do a lot of journaling and do a lot of writing. This is a great pen because you'll have a high ink capacity and it'll last you much longer than cartridge converter pen. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something about this new Twisby and that maybe it's something you might want to add to your collection. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, be safe out there, guys. Be sure to wash your hands. Keep practicing that social distancing. In fact, it's probably just best to not let anyone in your personal space at all because some people don't bathe, so. Well, that's all I have for today. Take care.